हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इनसाइड साइंस गाइस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आवर टॉपिक्स डिस्कशन वी विल हैव अ डिस्कशन अबाउट दैट एनकाउंटर केस व्हिच टुक प्लेस इन हैदराबाद अगेंस्ट दैट हिन्नस रेप केस सो इन दैट केस प्लीज हैव योर व्यूज इन द कमेंट बॉक्स बिकॉज दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्क इन प्रीमेंस एंड कैन बी आस्क इन इंटरव्यू एज वेल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल Uh, uh, mention that what kind of constitutional mechanisms are there, what kind of sections of CRPC, IPC and sections of uh, POCSA Act or anti-rape laws are there and uh, what are the loopholes in the laws and how, uh, what can be more added so that the anti-rape law can be more stringent and more symbolic in the country. So please have a uh, healthy discussion, put your views. Uh, so in that light, let's start our first issue that is Tanbo Act. What is Tanbo Art? It is a progressive farmer in Kerala is using Tanbo Art. It is a 3D art form to depict the celebrated Guru Vayur temple elephant that died in 1976. The, the farmer used several indigenous varieties of the rice like Krishna Kamot, uh, Gandha Kasala, Jira Kasala to give shape to the image. Guys, Tanbo art is it is not indigenous, it is borrowed from Japan because Tanbo art is a rice paddy art developed by the farmers of Inkadate village in Japan about three decades ago to beautify their paddy fields. So they drew huge replicas of famous paintings, include Mona Lisa by growing rice crops with fronts, uh, fronts of different colors. So the next issue is first woman pilot that is in Navy. Recently, Sub Lieutenant Sivangi Sorup became the first pilot in the Indian Navy after qualifying as a Dornier pilot. General UPSC does not ask the name of the persons, but in 2015 prelim, they asked about a person that is Ramanujan was there in the question. So, they can ask this uh, kind of uh, big examples or uh, things. So, it is important. Earlier in 2018, Bhavana Kant, Avani Chaturvedi, and Mohana Singh became the first women pilots in the Indian Air Force. So what is this Dornier aircraft? It is a multi-role short-range maritime reconnaissance aircraft with two engines manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautical Limited Kanpur. The aircraft can be used for electronic warfare missions, maritime surveillance, search and rescue and to provide targeting data to weapon platform. It is an important contribution towards indigenous development and self-reliance through make in India with state-of-the-art sensors and equipment including a glass cockpit, advanced surveillance radar, optical sensors and networking features. So the next issue is power of Siberia because you will be confused if the power term is mentioned it is it can be related to electricity it can be related to economic power political power etc. So what is the real power let's discuss. Recently China and Russia have inaugurated cross-border gas pipeline named Power of Siberia. It is the first cross-border gas pipeline between Russia and China. Under this pipeline project, Russia will deliver 1 trillion cubic meters of natural gas to China over the next 30 years. The pipeline will pass through the deltas of the Yangtze and Amur rivers of China. Guys, in previous lecture, Yangtze river was in use because uh, uh, please come in comment box means already you have mentioned it in comment box mention who is this, the largest hydroelectric project in Asia but I am giving the hint it is located in Yangtze river of China. The new pipeline is an emblem of closer energy in integration in Eurasia with Russia and China as the key partners. So this is uh, this is the map you can observe it this is Amur gas plant this is Amur Okay, so you can power of Siberia, this pipeline is mentioned, you can have a look at it. So the next issue is hand in hand. The 8th Indian China joint training exercise hand in hand 2019 with the theme of counter terrorism under United Nations mandate is scheduled to be conducted at Umroi Meghalaya from 7 to 20 December 2019. The aim of the exercise is to practice joint planning and conduct of counter-terrorist operations in semi-urban terrain. In 2018, the exercise was held in Chengdu, China. The exercise did not take place in 2017 due to the 72 days long standoff between India and Chinese troops in Doklam. So this is the case. This is the China map. It is Beijing here, Shanghai here, Hong Kong here, the protest is going on here, Taiwan is here. Okay. 
सो वी कैन हैव अ डिस्कशन इन दैट सो द नेक्स्ट इशू इज वैलिडिटी ऑफ ओथ टेकन बाय मिनिस्टर्स ड्यूरिंग द ओथ टेकिंग सेरेमनी ऑफ द न्यू गवर्नमेंट द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ महाराष्ट्र विथ अदर मिनिस्टर्स हैज अल्टर्ड द ओथ बाय इन्वोकिंग द नेम्स अदर देन मेन्शन इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वट आर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल प्रोविजन इन रिगार्डिंग दैट आर्टिकल वन सिक्सटी फोर क्लाज थ्री इट स्टेट्स दैट बिफोर ए मिनिस्टर एंटर्स ऑफ एन इज ऑफिस द गवर्नर शैल एडमिनिस्टर टू हिम द ओथ ऑफ ऑफिस एंड ऑफ सिक्रेसी अकॉर्डिंग टू द फॉर्म सेट आउट इन द थर्ड स्केड्यूल आर्टिकल वन सिक्सटी फोर मेक्स इट क्लियर दैट द टेक्स्ट ऑफ द ओथ इज सैक्रोसंट एंड द पर्सन टेकिंग द ओथ हैज टू रीड इट्स आउट एग्जैक्टली एज इट इज इन द गिवेन फॉर्मेट सो लेट्स डिस्कस इन डिटेल व्हाट इज द थर्ड शेड्यूल रिगार्डिंग दैट इट रिक्वायर्स द टेकर ऑफ द ओथ टू एदर स्वेयर इन द नेम ऑफ द गॉड्स और टू सोलेमनी अफेर और टू बियर ट्रू फेथ एंड अलेजियंस टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ अ गवर्नर इफ द पर्सन वंडर्स फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट ऑफ द ओथ इट इज द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द पर्सन एडमिनिस्ट्रिंग द ओथ इन दिस इंस्टेंस द गवर्नर टू इंटरप्ट एंड एज द पर्सन बींग शोर्न इन टू रीड इट आउट करेक्टली once governor takes it as read the uh, secre- secretary to the governor has attested that oath um, has been administered and it cannot be legally challenged this is the very important thing cannot be legally challenged instances of deviation in 1990 the oath by devi lal as deputy prime minister was challenged as being unconstitutional as the constitution provide provides only for the prime minister and ministers in that regard the supreme court upheld the oath as valid and stated that describing a person as deputy prime minister is descriptive only and such description doesn't confer on him any powers of prime minister it also ruled that the description of ministers as deputy prime minister or any other type of ministers such as a minister of state or a deputy minister of which there is no mention in the constitution doesn't vitiate the oath takes by him so long as the substance part of the oath is correct so actually in 2012 azam khan uh, actually, uh, the member of up legislative assembly has took retake his oath after he skipped the oath of the office of a cabinet minister and only took the oath of secrecy next issue is blue flag program the minister of environment Uh, has embarked upon a program for blue flag certification for a sil- uh, select beaches in the country beaches identified identified in india 13 pilot beaches have been identified for the certification this includes ghogala beach dew sivrajpur beach gujarat bhogwe maharashtra padubidri and kasarkod karnataka kappad beach kerala etc chandrabhaga beach of odisha's konark coast was the first to complete the tag certification process will be the first in asia to get the blue flag certification blue flag program the blue flag program for beaches and mar- marinas is run by the international non governmental non profit organization fee that is the foundation of environmental education it started in france in 1985 and has been implemented in europe since 1987 and in areas outside europe since 2001 when south africa joined criteria there are nearly 33 criteria that must be met to qualify for a blue flag certification such as the water meeting certain quality standards having waste disposal facilities being disabled friendly have a fast aid equipment and no access to pets in the main areas of the beach some criteria are voluntarily and some compulsory So the question which is asked in Plimsh 2019, why there is a great concern about the microbeads that are released into environment? Options are they are considered harmful marine ecosystem. Second is they are considered to cause skin cancer in children. Third is they are small enough to be observed by crop plants in irrigated uh, fields. Fourth is they are often found to be used as food adulterants. The right answer is option A. because the microbeads uh, are those uh, beads which are released mainly from plastic and plastic related products and their size is less than 1 mm so the next issue is uh, prelim question 2019 which of the following are the reasons for the occurrence of multi drug resistance in the microbial pathogens in india 
ऑप्शन वन इज जेनेटिक प्रीडिस्पोजिशन ऑफ सम पीपल इट इज नॉट नथिंग टू डू विथ जेनेटिक सो ऑप्शन वन इज रंग टेकिंग इनकरेक्ट डोजेस ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक टू अकर डिजीजेस एस राइट ऑप्शन यूजिंग एंटीबायोटिक्स इन लाइफ टक फार्मिंग एस राइट ऑप्शन मल्टीपल क्रोनिक डिजीजेस इन सम पीपल इट इज राइट आंसर द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दू थ्री एंड फोर दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे थैंक यू हैव ए नाइस डे